Hi everyone, Craig Rosasco here from the law firm of Turley, Redmond and Rosasco. Going to talk today about types of workers' compensation settlements. Once you've been injured on the job, we have to look at what body parts were injured and how we can uh, prosecute a claim for monetary benefits. Typically, if you injure an extremity, shoulder, elbow, wrist, hip, knee, ankle, you're going to be entitled to what's called a schedule loss of use settlement, typically done at the one year anniversary of your accident or if you have surgery, it'll be done one year from the date of your surgery. Why, was this, why does the state require us to do it that way? Because they want you to regain as much range of motion, because that's what your settlement is based upon, um, as you can before they determine your permanent range of motion deficits, because that's, once again, what your settlement's going to be based upon. So those types of cases are typically settled out at the one-year anniversary of the accident and or one-year anniversary of a surgery. The settlements are based upon range of motion deficits. There are a few special considerations that your doctor should know. Once again, always best to consult an attorney to maximize your recovery. The other side of the settlements are what's called non-schedule injuries. That would be a head, neck, and a back. Those type of injuries could entitle you to long-term workers' compensation payments. The only people in the state that are entitled to lifetime benefits are someone that's deemed permanently totally disabled, and the guidelines and the criteria for that is very dis uh, difficult to attain that level of disability. So why am I telling you this? Because you've been injured on the job and you probably need some help or assistance guiding yourself through the system. That's where I come into this. Give me a call, 516-745-5666. Any questions you have, I've got the answers. Been in this practice for 30 years. There's nothing I haven't encountered already, and there's nothing I'm not willing to assist you in moving forward with your claim. I look forward to speaking to you soon.